who we have for you today. It's a little zebra corner bookmark. And let's have a look what he looks like inside the book. Well, let's just stick it on this page so you can have a quick look. Isn't he cute? I love him. Now, let's take a look and see how he's made. So let's begin with our basic bookmark corner that you need to make all our bookmarks. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna turn it into a triangle, bring this corner up. And cut. Now keep this bit because you can use it for embellishments and other projects. Now bring the pointy corner up to the top. The other pointy corner to the top. Do it as neat as you can. Nice neat creases. Open it up, fold one flap down bring it up again and tuck it in. Bring this up and tuck it in. You now have your basic bookmark corner. For the zebra, we have the basic bookmark corner in white plus some color paper. This is actually gray, which is good because it means I can then add some detail like the mouth and nostrils. And I've also added um, a tiny bit of pink as always for my little cheeks. And I also need some pens and some glue. So I'm gonna start off by cutting out my pink little cheeks. Of course, you can use a hole punch for this. Here we go. Then I want to cut out um, kind of like the mouth part. So this is a, like I say, gray paper. You can use black, but I don't know how well you can draw the mouth on afterwards. So I'm gonna just cut an oval out. Might be a bit small, might have to do another one. Let's have a look. Might be okay. Let's see what it looks like with the cheeks on and some mouth as details. I think I'm gonna just go for it. I think some people might think these cheeks might end up looking like nostrils. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have pink cheeks, but all my other safari animals do, so I kind of want it on this one as well, because then they kind of goes a nice set. I'm gonna big big little oh, mouth nice and thick and some nostrils there we go i think that's all right don't you think i just about see those now i also want to cut out a, like a, a mane so i'm going to do a rectangular piece of paper maybe shape it a little bit sort of at the bottom to kind of go down a bit i'm going to cut across the top and then I'm just gonna add kind of like little grassy triangles. Looks a bit like a Mohican, I think. Here we go, look at that. Then I'm going to shape the top of my zebra's head. I'm going to glue this in. Now you can stick it on the back of your zebra's face or I'm actually gonna stick it inside and that's because when you then read your book, you can still see kind of the, the mane peeping out. I quite like that. Take my white, cut some ears now. I find it's like horse's ears, kind of a bit more pointy. like that and um, stick like that yeah I think they're good and this side and now I'm going to put the mouth in the center if I can pick it up <laughs> ah there we go 
only put glue on the top half. And then before I do any of the stripes, I'm going to shape it because I want it to kind of a bit like, I don't know if you saw the giraffe we made early in the year. I kind of want it to have a bit of a long kind of face and a bit of a neck. So it's not exact science. I'm using that as a guide to cut my other side. And there we go. Maybe round it off a bit. The, the neck goes more like that, doesn't it? Kind of have that pony shaped feel to it. Actually, I'm not quite happy with that. Let's just cut it again. Don't cut too much off. That's the only problem. Sometimes I end up cutting more and more and more, and then that's just silly, isn't it? That should do that's a bit better and then you just need to add some eyes i'm going to put them quite far over here And then I'm going to use my thicker pen for the zebra markings. I think I might kind of give them a little mark down the front. You know, you sometimes get with horses, a nice big black bit. And then I'm going to add um, just some lines coming in from the side. Then also, have done this before. I think the zebra's ears often have little black tufts. Don't actually know if that's true, but I think it's a nice detail. And then also some nice zebra lines coming in. What would you think? Maybe a little bit just on the face. There we go. I think that's it. Our zebra bookmark corner is finished. Here we go. Take another look. It's very cute. I think it's really lovely. Now, um, I've actually done a unicorn bookmark before, which is quite different to this one. So you might want to check that one out as well, because it's quite cute and it's quite nice to look at different ways of making that horsey shape. But um, yeah, otherwise, don't forget to add this to your playlist like comment subscribe and of course we'd love to see you here again soon bye